everyone, welcome back to Undead World Hero Survival. We will be covering an update today. Hopefully they could, you know, um, put more regular updates for this game. I love this game. Um, it's just that the content needs more in terms of additional content. But let's discuss the current content right now that they were able to drop. So click game update. So first there are two heroes that were out so you have tammy an epic tank then olivia an epic range hero for hive so tammy is from sugar reapers um i wish tammy would have been melee because they need a melee so bad in replacement for niles and olivia will have to compete with webster so let's we'll, we'll go to them later um next is a new feature new content battlefield a new pve battle mode I will create a separate video for um, Battlefield. I was able was able to have a sneak peek into this and um, kind of interesting. Additions and updates, factions, skyscraper, increase the number of floors from 120 to 170. So this is just a bump, small bump. Um, most of us uh, haven't reached uh, this far. Zombie Express, I like this one. The additional of the auto spawn mode. Um, I'm guilty of not pushing this a couple of times, so it's good that they have an auto spawn mode already. Um, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a auto always. It's going to be on always as long as you have uh, clicked it once. Increase tier and rank rewards, which is actually good. Um, added the chance to receive diamonds from daily rewards. Oh, more diamond sources. Then Midtown added the high speed mode for players at VIP five or above. Adjustments would be disabled the chat feature until ch uh, chapter 2-10 updated some in-game text fixed minor bugs so you have to click on this to confirm so that you could receive the reward okay do not cancel it or do not um, exit it uh, by pressing the X so let's go first to this one battlefield so just gonna give you guys a quick preview on how I did this so I've done the, this one, the the center. Uh, it's now uh, we have to expand actually, and we, I think, have two keys per day. So the keys here you you may use for well, for this content to unlock and this one to unlock as well. So again, I'm I'm putting out a separate um, guide or a walkthrough for this content. So. Please be, you know, please be sure to look out for that. Um, we're going to go to... I'm more interested in the two heroes that uh, were added to the game. So initially, there's another tank to compete with uh, Abigail, which is Tammy. <laughs> I like the names that they give uh, these, uh, these heroes. So if you click... On her signature equipment, she definitely has the bling, turns into gold, and uh, uh, the weapon doesn't change. It used to change. So anyway, um, she just changed her outfit from gold to... Uh, sorry, from pink to gold. Okay, so let's go over her skills, guys, and see if she's a worth pulling for. So one of her skills is when Tammy HP falls below 50%, she recovers... 20% of max HP, which is very good for a tank. And I reduce damage taken by 40%. Very, very tough. So she's kinda she's going to be the opposite of um, of Abigail, if I may recall. She's more built on toughness and to stay right in front. Cooldown decreases whenever time is hit by a um, CC effect. Okay, so increase HP recovery, then the damage reduction is increased. So impressed with one of her skills as a you know as a tank should be phalanx is tammy lets lose a war cry that creates a barrier around her allies the bar absorbs one instance of cc effects and raises allies defense by 40 percent so aside from defense for herself and uh, damage reduction she gives a barrier and defense to all her allies. A good, very good buff. Very good buff indeed. Next is uh, Flex Appeal. Tammy slams her weapon down with a wide swing. Enemies caught by the slam are hit with 30% attack power and launched into the air. Their defense is reduced by 30% for 6 seconds. So damage reduction, uh, sorry, defense reduction 
for your enemies. And her ultimate skill is Tammy Spins with her weapon, dealing damage at 200% attack power to nearby enemies, then slams her weapon down hard. Enemies hit uh, by the impact receive damage at 250% attack power and are launched into the air so she has a bit of uh, um, attack to herself so launching of enemies and uh, and mov speed is reduced by 50 percent move speed and increases attack power to 250 for spin and 325 for slam so decrease cooldown as well first glance i think she's going to be a must pull if especially if you're bringing um sugar reapers you can bring both of them in your team. So if you want to build a, a team for Sugar Reapers, ideally it's going to be Abigail. You're going to have um, Tammy. Then you will have um, uh, Nadim. Then you have Kieran. And the last would be Pop Rock or Rock. So there you go. I, again, she provides a lot of defense so that you know, um, the heroes on the back can deal a lot more damage. So, again, a very, very good addition to Sugar Reapers. Next, we're going to take a look at nice Olivia. Decision. Olivia, I, I like her design. Kind of a... She's kind of paired with, uh, with uh, Sam in terms of tactical outfit. But again, she's going to be unique. I took a look of, at her skills. She's more of an assassin type um, kind of hero. Uh, goes after the higher or the tanks with the higher HP. So we'll take a look at her first skill first. Just retribution after using um, serve coal, which is the next skill. Olivia enters stealth mode for 8 seconds while in stealth mode, attack speed increases by 10% and her basic attacks become piercing. Piercing ignores defense, right? So next is um, serve cold, leaps back and throws an electronic bomb at nearby enemies. The bomb delivers an electric shock and inflicts 150 attack power. After using serve cold, just distribution is triggered then can trigger once every 10 seconds so this is going to be a bomb um that inflicts a one-time damage of 150 percent of attack increase attack power and increase the bomb the bomb's range um for her upgrades then her next skill is going to be heartless throws an electronic bomb at the target so another bomb so but this one is a more of a damage over time lasts for six seconds dealing 125 attack power every two seconds to surrounding enemies up to five enemies in the blast zone take five percent increased damage for eight seconds stacks up to four four times so this is more of a damage over time so she has increased attack increased attack speed piercing she has two bombs which is more of for crowd control um, or for probably just some of them is going to just be a delay. And her ultimate is going to be um, spots that uh, Avenger. Uh, Olivia spots the target with the highest HP, marks it for 10 seconds, and stacks with piercing bullets. So Olivia is immune to CC while her effect is on, and a marked target that targets receive 20% increased damage. Every time Olivia attacks her marked target, she gains 5% attack power. And when marked target dies, it explodes, inflicting 100 attack power to surrounding enemies and boosting Olivia's speed, SP, or SP skill points by 150. So this one, this is the skill that I'm referring to in terms of being a... She looks for the highest HP mark. So be careful. So for those who have a higher HP, HP, more or less, you'll be it will be your tanks. She's going to be your tank buster. So so unique kit definitely. Um, she has a lot. Um, in terms of crowd control, AOEs, increased attack, um, uh, a lot of damage through the highest um, HP on the enemies and interesting kit. I'm not sure yet about her if uh, her kit synergy is going to be, you know, is going to work, but definitely worth a try. So from both um, Olivia and Tammy, uh, I, guess, I guess Tammy is a must, 
Olivia, we still have to do some playtesting on her and see how she does in PvP content and PvE content. Okay, so before we end, I'd like to do some summons, guys. To see if um, I'm going to be able to recruit some or at least one of them. So let's do the hearts thingy. Let's recruit with hearts. So too bad the book is not... Not even one, but I, I like it because I have a lot of blues to ascend. So next is going to be the faction itself. So recruit heroes. We'll go first with the recruit 10. I have saved up for this one. So not, not again the blue book. So let's skip this. Then zero. Only four blues this time. Then let's do another one. So this is a <laughs> speed recruitment. Okay, so let's do one recruit using diamonds. Okay, two seven. Hopefully, I could get at least one here. Not even the two that are new, at least one. The book is not again blue, so not a guarantee. So let's see. Let's do the suspense here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. So definitely got nothing. But anyway, guys, um, this is the update for the game. Um, wish you all, you know, happy gaming for the new update. Wish you also happy summons if you plan to summon for both of those heroes. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you next. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, more on I'm gonna do a video for the battlefield. So for those who have stuck this far, um, please consider subscribing because I'll be creating more videos for Undead World Hero Survival. Okay, guys, but don't forget to click that bell icon if you have subscribed and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.